everyone, so today's video is going to be all about scurvy in So I'll just be talking about what it is, um, symptoms, treatments, how to prevent it, why vitamin C is important, and that's pretty much it really. So I'll just say so firstly, what is scurvy? Scurvy is a vitamin C deficiency. And like humans, guinea pigs can not produce their own. So why is vitamin C important? It's important as certain biological oxidation and redu reduction systems depend on it so they can function properly. If there is no vitamin C present, or a lack of it, um, bone abnormalities can occur and blood vessel abnormalities can occur. Also, and the guinea pig can get enlarged adrenal glands and limbs, muscles and intestines can bleed. Vitamin C is also required for a healthy... So how can you tell if your guinea pig has scurvy? Symptoms include lethargy, weakness, unwillingness to move, enlarged or stiff joints, not eating, um, weight loss due to the not eating, diarrhea, and eye a nose discharge, a rough coat, a bad skin condition, tender to the touch, so if you go to touch them, then they may cry in pain. If... And also, they could have an internal skele skeletal or muscle. Deficiency of vitamin C is not only caused by poor diet, it's also caused if there are any other medical issues. So if they have a malocclusion, which is overgrown teeth, um, then they're not going to be eating enough and they're not going to get enough vitamin C which will result in it. If some of the symptoms are displayed it might not always be scurvy, it could also be a URI or upper respiratory infection. So you're going to want to see your vet if you're not entirely. So if you think a guinea pig has scurvy, how can you treat it? They require 50 milligrams per kilo of vitamin C daily for a week. So that would mean ex extra vegetables and vitamin C tablets. So where do you find vitamin C in your guinea pig's diet? Whilst hay is the most important part of the guinea pig's diet and makes up 85%, it doesn't really contain any vitamin C. So that isn't going to be where you find your vitamin C. It's going to be in the pellets and the vegetables and fruits. Pellets do have added with vitamin C in them, However, it does constantly degrade and in six weeks you'll lose half the vitamin C content. So that's why the main source of vitamin C in your guinea pig's diet is going to be vegetables and fruits. I will link a list in the description of safe fruits and vegetables and it also has how much vitamin C is in per 100 grams of that fruit or vegetable. But vegetables high in vitamin C include peppers, particularly the red pepper, Brussels sprouts, spinach, kale, cabbage also have quite a bit, um, and fruits would be citrusy fruits such as oranges. So how much vitamin C does your guinea pig require per day? Guinea pigs require 10 to 30 milligrams per kilo a day. Young, pregnant and ill ones do need more, but just your average adult gu um, guinea pig needs that much. However, if they do have too much, poor growth. Um, so how much vitamin C does your guinea pig need per day? Guinea pigs require 10 to 30 milligrams per kilo of vitamin C a day. However, young, pregnant and ill ones need more, but just your average adult guinea pig needs that much. However, there is such a thing as too much vitamin C and in young guinea pigs that can lead to poor growth and if you are overfeeding them and you dramatically reduce it really quickly that can give them scurvy as well. So if you find out you are feeding, giving them too much then you need to gradually reduce the amount you give them. What about supplements? You can buy chewy tablets for humans um, However, you do need to make sure there's no gelatine in them, as guinea pigs are strict herbivores and gelatine is made from bones, tendons, skin, all that sort of stuff from pigs or cows. So you need to make sure that they're going to be a vegetarian, or more like a vegan one, really. Um, and if, they normally are 100 milligrams, so if you quarter that, that's going to be 25 milligrams. 
So if you are treating them for scurvy, you can give them half of that and then that'll be their 50 milligrams. You can also buy liquid supplements in health food stores. So just a small amount several times a day will help you treat scurvy quickly. Multivitamins shouldn't be used. Um, you only want a tablet that contains vitamin C as you could potentially overdose them on other vitamins. And minerals. When you buy liquid supplements that are marketed for pets, it does normally say on the back to add some to their drinking water and or on their food. However, you shouldn't put it in their water for numerous reasons. So firstly, you don't know how much they're getting. You don't know if they're getting too little or too much. And also, if you're adding it to the water, it's exposed to the air and half the strength will be gone in a day. And also heat, metal and mineral content and chemicals such as chlorine can affect the viability and also probably the most obvious one it's going to make the water taste different so your guinea pig might not drink it and then they're going to get dehydrated which obviously can be fatal so that's it and i hope this helped you if you are looking at getting guinea pigs if you're worried your guinea pig has scurvy or you have guinea pigs and you didn't really know much about this um so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it helped you out and I'll see you all next time. Bye!